The Turkmen population in Syria has come under the spotlight recently as Russia intensifies airstrikes in areas inhabited by them. Turkish authorities summoned the Russian ambassador in Ankara to protest over the strikes. The downing of the Russian jet near the Turkmen area by Turkish warplanes has infuriated Russians. So who are Syria's Turkmen and why is Turkey so protective of them? Natalie Carney takes a closer look from the Turkey Syria border. Like the Kurds of Kobani, the Turkmen of the Turkmen Mountains are gaining notoriety in the fight for Syria. It was Turkmen rebel fighters who claimed to have shot at the Russian pilots as they parachuted out of their plummeting jet. Syria's Turkmen brigades number between two and ten thousand fighters engaged in combat against ISIL fighters as well as Syrian government troops. We have been facing ground offensives and airstrikes with heavy weaponry and intensive bombings for the past 10 days. These attacks are carried out by Syrian President Bashar al-Assad, who was reinforced by Russia and Iran. We respond to these attacks, but we cannot resist much, since these attacks are carried out with heavy weapons and war jets. The Turkish Foreign Ministry summoned the Russian ambassador and called for an immediate halt to the Russian military operations near its border. Ankara then appealed to the UN Security Council to address the attacks on the Turkmen. Turkey feels a close kinship to the Turkmen, who are Syrians of Turkic descent. Following increased Russian airstrikes on northern Syria, more than 1,700 Turkmen fled the fighting through this border crossing into Turkey. Ankara blames Moscow for targeting the Turkmen community. Russia, who backs Syrian President Bashar al-Assad, says it's simply fighting Syrian opposition terrorists. An estimated 100 to 200,000 Turkmen lived in Syria before the start of the war. Roughly 25,000 are now in Turkey. A school set up by the Syrian Turkmen Association in the border town of Yeladai is educating both Arab and Turkish Syrian refugees. They may speak Turkish, but their loyalties remain in Syria. We are loyal to the land, not the tribe. For 600 years, we have been in that land and we will stay there. No matter what the Assad regime or Russia does, we will stay. Our dead bodies are there and our living bodies are there. Syria's Turkmen see the conflict as an opportunity to improve their standing in Syrian society. Absolutely, this is an opportunity. For a long time, we've been trying to make our voices heard. We have rights, we're human, and have a lot of land in Syria. Making our voice heard everywhere is our right. It is affecting our fighters. It has increased their morale. But not the manpower. As Russia deploys surface-to-air missiles to Syria and Turkey reinforces its border, the Turkmen could be caught in the middle. Natalie Carney for CCTV, Yeladai on the Turkey-Syria border.